Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 20. Um, all of us have passed the halfway mark. Um, Liverpool sitting nicely in top spot um, as it stands. Still a long way to go. Um, but anyway guys, you can tell what game I'm going to kick off with. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, as I said, you can tell the first game we're going to kick off with, but I'm going to say it anyway, like I always do, and it's Brighton versus Everton. Brighton are missing out on Matthew Ryan, as I know, um, on this Asia Cup. Now, I know he's not the only player missing in the Premier League. I know Sun's going to be missing from Tottenham, and I'm guessing a few other players will be missing while this Asia Cup continues. Um, do I agree with it? Uh, a bit of it, but... Um, it's going to come from a big tie for Brighton. Um, but I don't know whether any players are going to be missing from Everton. As far as I think, I don't think there's going to be any players missing. But for anyway, for this game, I'm going to go with a draw. I'm going to go with that Everton. I'm going to be expecting a bit too much. And Brighton, I'm going to expecting um, a little bit more. But with this one, I'm going to call it a one-all draw and a very good point for Brighton against Arsenal. Even possibly could have had all three. If you're interested in seeing my Brighton Arsenal vlog, it is up on my channel now as well. So after this, please go view it if you would like to. Um, there's a lot, lot of action in there and it explains a bit more of the game. Uh, the next one is Fulham versus Huddersfield. Low flying Fulham. Against Flowline Huddersfield. How long has David Wagner got in his Huddersfield shoes? Um, I'm not expecting him to go on for too much longer. Um, Fulham, on the other hand, did manage to get a win against Wolves this weekend. Very surprising um, for this one. And I'm going to go with a 2 0 Fulham win. The next one is Leicester versus Cardiff. Um, now Cardiff ain't playing too badly, Nigel Wilnock has had a moan um, about the loan window, why is there only two players that they can loan um, in England, which in one side I agree with him, I think the FA should be doing more to develop the English game, but I can't make the rules, so you know it's just one of them things. Um, Leicester on the other hand pressures off their manager after a shocking win against Manchester City. Um, you know, it's one of them things, I think, where City are expected to go out there and win, and it doesn't happen. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to have to back it for the Leicester, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline. I'm not predicting Cardiff to lose as much, but I just think Leicester are going to edge it just that little bit more. The next one is Spurs versus Wolves. Now, I'll just mention Wolves, um, losing to Fulham. Um, well, it's Tottenham ain't playing too badly either. In the top two, um, I think it's the top two they're in. Anyway, Tottenham fans, you know what I'm on about. Um, but as far as that game goes, I'm going to predict a Tottenham win, and I'm going to predict a 3-1 scoreline. The next one is Wolves versus, uh, Watford versus Newcastle. Um, very low Newcastle side against a very tip top um, Watford side. Um, what what do I expect from Watford for this game? I'm not going to put too much pressure on Newcastle for this one, but um, I'm predicting a two one. What for win for that one? Now, possibly the game of the weekend. Um, it's Liverpool versus uh, Arsenal. Now, Arsenal, as I've said earlier in this uh, predictions, Arsenal did draw to Brighton. Um, from an Arsenal perspective, I think they took like self too early. Um, as I said in this video, I was ready to go watch my vlog. Uh, I don't actually mention bits and pieces like this, but I will do now while I'm talking about Arsenal. Um, I took like set off too early, I took Ozil off. Um, one nil. I think it's like 50 minutes in, I took like set off and then brought Ramsey on. 
Um, ludicrous decision by Arsenal. Excuse me. Um, you know, like I said, was causing a lot of problems. Um, until I took him off. Um, I took Ozil off. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not sure if he picked up an imp, but. You know, it's what the manager wants to do at the end of the day. Um, but on Liverpool's front, as I've said at the top of the, this video, to fly top of the league, six points clear, I think they are now. Um, City are struggling. Um, but where do I see this result going? I only see this game going one way, and it is for the Reds. But it's the Red side and Mercy side I can see this for. And I think it would be a 3-0 win for Liverpool. The next one is Crystal Palace versus Chelsea. Great point for Cardiff at Palace. Um, Boxing Day. Um, Chelsea, great result at Watford. Um, where do I see this one going? I only see this game going one way as well. Um, and I'm predicting a Chelsea win. And I'm going to predict a 2-1 scoreline for that one. Um, I can't see a lot of difference happening for that game. Um, the next one is Burnley versus West Ham. Low flying Burnley, very low. Is Sean Dice bells ringing now as well? Um, that's going to be an interesting game to uh, wait and see what happens. Um, on the other hand, West Ham are playing ever so well under Pellegrini. Um, I still think there's a one or two issues with West Ham. Um, there might be a vlog because we're due to go to West Ham in a couple of, uh, our next fixture after this one, um, where you you might see me talk about their issues. But as well as this fixture goes, I'm gonna have to go with the colour of blue of West Ham, and I'm gonna have to go with a two-one scoreline for that one. The next one is low flying Southampton against low flying Manchester City. Manchester City are dropping. Um, you know, a lot of uh, bits and pieces happening there. Not quite sure what's going on. Uh, definitely won't be the title favourites now. Um, I think in the next fixture for City is Liverpool. Um, so it's going to be one of them interesting games, I think, where if City. Do something wrong in this one. Liverpool going to say, yeah, we've got them. But then it could be an interesting game um, for both teams. But as the fixture goes, I hope you're delighted with this prediction. Southampton fans, I don't think you will be City fans, but I do apologise. But I can only see this going one way. And I'm going to predict a one all uh, draw for that one. The last game um, for this weekend, and it's my last prediction... Uh, Manchester United versus Bournemouth. You know, Man United six points on a gun on a gun at Solskjaer. Um, brilliant win at um, Old Trafford against Huddersfield. Um, have they found the right man for the job? I'm predicting yes, but will he stay? It's going to have to be, uh, wait and see. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, yet yeah, again doing their up and down. Um, but as well as this fixture goes. I'm going to have to go with a 3-0 Manchester United win. Anyway, guys, this is the end of my prediction video. A big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.